what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video we finally hit 1000 subs holy mamacita i totally never doubted it this is a crazy milestone thinking about all you wonderful people watching my stupid videos and commenting and man the comment section for my videos is crazy it blows up a ton and I'm always so grateful to have people commenting because it either means that they enjoyed my content so much that they wanted to let me know the video topic was motivating enough to get people to comment or, you know, they hate me so much that they need to comment about that. Whatever it was, it really wasn't easy getting to a thousand subs, but the journey was so much easier thanks to all your comments. I wanted to make this video to talk about my overall thoughts on my YouTube journey. How I started, why I started, the in-betweens of what I did, and finally what I plan on doing in the future. So let's start off with how I started YouTube. For many of the OGs out there and some nosy people, yes, I see you all, those older videos of mine ever so slightly increasing in views. You all know that I started this YouTube channel simply to post my favorite clips for memories. Basically, I was too cheap to buy storage, so I made YouTube buy it instead. But my videos started to pick up steam once I began uploading random Lost Ark videos, like me fighting Valtin, Vicus, and other random things. These were all two years ago. I didn't think much about it, and you can obviously tell because of how terrible the thumbnails are and the video quality. But before we do that, let me see the 1,000 subscribers about to tick. I recorded this screen just before it hit, just so we can all celebrate this moment together, and then we can take a look at my channel. So is it coming in three, two, one, 1,000, woohoo! And there it is, everybody. So now let's look at the channel. So as I mentioned before, how I started YouTube very long time ago, <laughs> you can see here, I played League, I played Valorant, I played all this stuff, all just clips for memories. But then I posted Lost Star content, like Vaultin, Vicus, and etc. These, as you see, were two years ago. And yeah. Bad thumbnails, like I mentioned, look at look at how bad quality these thumbnails are and how terrible these videos are in quality. But still, look at this video. Shadowhunter Gate 1 Vicus got 2.7k views. My uh, six piece relic salvation test, how cute, got 3.5k views, etc. I started to realize that, hmm, maybe there is potential in starting up this channel as a lost arc content channel but even with some of these videos having decent views a lot of them actually having more views than my recent videos too i wasn't getting these subscribers like you see like 3.5k 2.4k 1k 2.1 3.1 5.3k a bunch of views but no subscribers and boy let's talk about subscribers what i realized from doing youtube is that people are so stingy with giving their sub. Even if they enjoy the content and are a regular returning viewer of my channel, and yes, I do look at all the analytics, subscriptions were incredibly low and slow to increase. Now, why is this? I still have no idea. It's free too. But something that might answer this question is that I noticed that towards the beginning of my journey and the end of my journey, they were much easier time period of getting subs. My guess is that in the early stages, people felt bad for me and gave me pity subs, while in the later stages, people were more likely to subscribe when the channel had more subscribers. And now let's talk about the middle. The 200 to 700 subscriber range was brutal. And my guess is that unfortunately, some people don't want others to succeed. Luckily, a majority of my viewers, all of you, 
clutched up and came through with the subscriptions eventually. Anyways, continuing on, around the time that, so I, I kept posting MVP videos, you know, some, some of these videos got a lot of views, like 10k views. I personally think 10k views is a lot. Some people might not think so, but I do, considering all the other videos that kind of bombed. We had 6.1k view, my 1620 Emperor Arcana. People seem to love Arcana vids, so I started to post more Arcana vids. Um, but then we start to get towards two months ago. It says one month ago, but it was technically two. We start to get solo mode, and I started to experiment with kind of posting videos about that. And what do you know? These videos that came out did decently well. And I finally decided to commit to making videos. So starting right here, the no BS new and returning player checklist for Lost Ark. This is where I actually started my journey on July 20th. So exactly two months ago, at least from the time of this recording, since I'm, I'm recording this on September 20th, so it's exactly two months ago. At this point in time, I had around 70 or 80 subs from all these other Lost Ark videos that I posted. So I did have a head start, but not that much. The video did okay, but not as good as it should have. And actually this 1.1k views is a lie. This is after two months of this coming out. During this time when I was releasing it, it only got you know a few hundred views. What really got my channel running was this video, Emperor Arcanist Advanced Guide. To this date, one of my best performing videos in terms of viewer satisfaction. I'm talking about likes, uh, you know, average view duration, th that kind of stuff. This video got me over 20 subs for this one single video, which got my analytical gears grinding about what kind of content I should be posting. You know, I tried different things. I also tried a tier list, which blew up. Who knew people love tier lists? Secrets out now. Sorry, all the other Lost Ark content creators. But yes, if you want views, you do tier lists. So the next time you see your favorite Lost Ark content creator, a tier list is because they want to get paid <laughs> but anyway they are also super fun to make because of all the salt it brings from players who get offended by one guy's opinion you know me who doesn't really matter so it's a win-win for all i even tried to do a series pro to beginner challenge where i nerf my character to the bare bones and do solo raids in the shoes of a new player I thought it was an interesting concept, but unfortunately it didn't do too well, so I stopped it. I even did my very first educational PowerPoint presentation video that did pretty well. And then uh, it got introduced by Cody to his chat, so they came over uh, and it did well from that too. So appreciate Cody for, you know, advertising. We should be doing more of that for our Lost Ark community. But anyways... As you can see, I tried numerous things and knew what I needed to do. From then on, I posted videos based on just that. So guides, series, presentations. You know, tier four was and still is a super hot topic. So it's one of my most viewed videos. So that was something I learned too, was to also post newer Lost Ark content. Then I tried doing a review and react. And that did better than I thought. So the views were not as great, but I did get a lot of subs from this. So that was something I did as well. One very important thing that I noticed that got me subs was call to action. I used to think YouTubers who practically begged for subs in every video. Oh guys, like and subscribe this video. Like and subscribe this video. At the beginning of every video were annoying. But now I realize why they did this. Trust me, they didn't want to, and neither did I. But it works. The difference is insane, so I had to do it no matter how much I hated it. So luckily for all of you, future videos will no longer have any subscribe begging. That era is over, and it's now time to focus on making better content. I will continue to do tier lists, and guides and other random things until I find something that really targets people 
uh, or targets what people want to see. Because I do cap around 1 to 2k views at the moment, you know, gotta figure out the next thing to reach out uh, and increase my views higher. So if you want to see anything in particular or you think will be a banger video, let me know in the comments. I read everything. So share whatever you want to see. I do these videos for fun and it's been a blast so far. Yes, I come across hate every single day, but I also come across love every day. And that's what motivates me to continue making videos. My goal is to inform as well as entertain. That is my number one goal is to entertain. To try to get more players staying and coming to Lost Ark. They would, you know, randomly click my videos and be like, oh, hey, like this is pretty funny. Let me try Lost Ark out. That is my ultimate goal. Now, will daily videos continue? I sure hope so. As long as I'm not dying or, you know, as long as I continue having ideas, which I do keep track of in a notepad list and it's pretty full, so we're good for now. Daily videos are here to stay. Again, I am so grateful to be able to have fun making these videos and getting a lot of love for them. So thank you all so much for watching. For people wondering if this is a valid career option, I would probably advise not to, at least in the Lost Ark category, because it is quite niche and even popular Lost Ark streamers do not get that many views on their videos either. So no, you won't make much money on YouTube, but I think I could pay 10% of my mortgage with this. So I guess it could cover part of my utilities. So we're all good. At least I can get some Chipotle bowls for my efforts. This journey was in no way easy. So I have massive respect to all the content creators out there shout outs to you all thank you all so much for watching and let me get back to working on creating better videos for you all for my pineapple gang gotta type pineapple in the chat right for old time's sake i will be reading them all so make sure you comment have a good one everyone and goodbye